rescue off, save the dinosaurs from an island that's about to explode. What could go wrong? Welcome to Fallen Kingdom, where we return to Jurassic World one minute at a time. I'm Brad. I'm Dave. And here we are back to discuss minute 19 of Fallen Kingdom. But Dave, before we get to that, heading over to Jurassic-Pedia.com, we've got an article up here with the continuation of the episode-by-episode breakdowns for Camp Cretaceous. Yeah, this one's uh, Battle Lions. This one's where we find out where like, Kenji finally turns, you know? Mm, I believe it's uh, the one we see Cash meet his demise as well, so... Good yep. to get good to get him out of the series. <laughs> love love him or hate him. Yeah, Cash Cash needed to go bye bye. <laughs> it's kind of ironic that it's his raptors that do it too. Mm, yep. So yeah, um, episode by episode breakdowns are continuing on PDF. If you want, ever want to go back and rewatch the series, you can uh, read along with the uh, episode breakdowns. Get some of those questions answered along the way if there's some stuff you're not quite sure on and and yeah. Um, so check out this and many more of the Camp Cretaceous episode breakdowns over at Jurassic-Pedia.com. Yep. Can I buy you a beer? Did you bring them or did we got to like go somewhere? All right, Dave, ready to get a minute 19? I am. All right, minute 19 of Fallen Kingdom opens with Owen working on his cabin and ends with Claire acknowledging Owen's stubbornness. This might be one of the uh, quickest minutes, <laughs> but we'll try and pad that a little bit. Uh, before we start, last minute, we'll talking about uh, the location of Owen's cabin here. Um, real world location. This shot is actually England, not the Sierra Nevada mountains. Uh, it was shot over there along with the Lockwood <coughs> Manor stuff uh, in Burn Burnwoods in Surrey, England. So, so I'm gonna guess those back those mountains in the background were uh, CGI. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure England doesn't have snow capped peaks. <laughs> Uh, I think they do in, like, the winter, but I'm not sure if they do, like, year-round. Mm. Yeah, so a bit of uh, a bit of CG magic there to uh, blend. Yeah, and those look very Rocky Mountain-ish, you know? Yeah, yep. yep. So they fooled us. <laughs> um, but to the minutes itself, uh, after being gnawed once by Claire, Owen, uh, Claire yells Owen's name again louder, and we speculated last minute that he did know she was there he was just ignoring her mm. um, but now being a little bit louder he uh, he stops hammering says oh boy and puts the hammer away and turns, he slowly, slowly turns around and it's two different scenes here we first see Claire she's sort of acting sheepish or giddy or something um, as she says hi and then as soon as we go back to uh, Owen when he says back for more ha we cut back to uh, Claire and she asks can you buy her a beer sort of a bit more sure of herself and stern so i don't know it's like those two different cuts between the two scenes mm-hmm. there um, well the every good woman knows that the best way to get to a man's heart is through his stomach <laughs> 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 that's the secret to, to men well she should have <laughs> she should have known that um alan was going to bring him up because he said did you bring him or do we got to go and got to go somewhere so she didn't bring the caller in the car she uh Wants to go to a bar. Obviously, town isn't too far away. Otherwise, it's a long, long ride mm-hmm. to. Uh... Well, there's probably a town, like like with the Sierra or his Sierra Nevada cabin that we see in um, in Dominion. There's probably a nearby town that they can go. He can go to for provisions. I mean, somebody delivered that lumber, you know. Mm, yeah. He, yep. he didn't just start going chopping down trees. Yep. I suppose we're about to cut to the bar. Anything else on the cabin here? Um, we do return to it one brief moment coming up in a couple of minutes at night time, but um, we don't actually get him to get to see him finish his cabin. Again, speculation whether or not this is the same cabin as Dominion. That'll probably go on forever, like most things in this franchise. Uh, fans arguing with each other about yes and no and everything else. Uh, no, I think we're good. Yeah, yeah, no, that's all right. Um, but we do cut to a bar, pool table, Budweiser signs, the whole works. Uh, I first was thinking, or thought I read somewhere, that this is the same Hell's Creek bar as we see in Jurassic Park 3, but obviously there is different interior. 
and obviously, just a set. You said the set designer had photos of this bar, yeah, on their profile or something. Yeah, there's uh, set photos of this uh, bar uh, interior that they. I think that it was either the set designer or one of the, or the set builder, one of the one of somebody to do with the sets posted up on their portfolio, and there's also like they also built like a mini, um, like a small mock-up of the set that they're planning on building so they they can kind of uh plan ca- camera angles and uh stuff like that there's kind of like a 3d storyboarding kind of thing mm-hmm. weird it's pretty dark in here too um normally normally inside sets like this i want to lit up pretty well but uh it <clears> does <throat> seem like a bit of a dark city bar <laughs> um but all we can hear as the music playing is uh, Claire laughing loudly at their booth, and uh, it's all because Owen thinks she left him and not the other way around. I, I'll admit straight up, I'm I'm not a fan of the the air quotes relationship, love story, whatever you want to call this couple mm-hmm. from Jurassic World going into here and then going into for uh, Dominion. It's sort of a by Dominion, it's a necessity. Mm-hmm just to uh, have Maisie have sort of feel like she's in a family, but we know from speed relationships built on extreme circumstances don't work. And this relationship didn't work for one reason or another, because our recounts a breakup. Uh, if you want to go live in your van, like a bum, go right ahead. Um, Claire, Claire didn't want to do that. Apparently um, apologies to van life is out there. You're not bums. <laughs> um, but there's a bit of back and forth um, of who left who. Um, apparently, Alan wouldn't let Claire drive the van, which is one reason she left. And he said, well, he's been shiverous by just driving driving all around. And that's when the minute ends and Claire concedes that Alan's just stubborn. <laughs> I will say so. that the relationship as it was displayed in Fallen, I mean, in Jurassic World felt kind of forced. And in a way... It feels like by the end of this movie, they're only together out of necessity for because they now have a third party versus because they actually love each other. I mean, they obviously care very deeply for each other. They kind of feel it, but they kind of feel more like friends than they do an actual relationship, like a romantic relationship. Mm. Like they like and it and that same kind of. Uh, feeling with their relationship is continued in Dominion, where it feels like they both feel like they're par- their surrogate parents to Maisie, and that's their relationship with each other is that they're surrogate parents to this uh, child that they're now. Uh, I'm not really sure saddled is the right word, but I mean that that they've decided to adopt basically. Mm. Well, not to quickly go into Dominion a minute here, but. There's no discussion whatsoever in that film of even Maisie having a brother or sister or Claire and Owen actually being together and having kids. Mm. It's sort of... That's just nowhere her parents by default. It doesn't seem like there's any... Well, there's no even no word of mm-hmm. marriage. Um, of course, being 2022, it's, it's not old-fashioned anymore where you have to get married to be in a relationship, of course, but... Um, yeah, sort of. Owen seems like that sort mm-hmm. of more of a, uh, I won't say old timey, but more traditional, uh, being in the military and that. But yeah, anyway, it's just as I mean, um, like the parent-child uh, relationship there is definitely there in Dominion, but I just do not buy these two as actually romantically involved with each other. They, like I said, it feels like Maisie is the glue that keeps both of them uh, uh, staying together. You know, it's yeah. kind of a family in that way. It more, um, what's the, what's the word? Where it's like more brotherly love than it is, uh, romantic, you know? Yeah. And we know from Jurassic World that she dated him once and she knew exactly how that turned out. And to go and try to go at the end of Jurassic World after the incident in the part again it didn't work out too well so why why again are we going back for a third time it's um it's just mainly because amazing here she's laughing at him and mocking him she's not back here because she wants to get back with him she's here because she needs his help and she's going to try and convince mm-hmm. him yet she's going to sit here and laugh and make fun of him because <laughs> he left her or she left him 
and it pretty much turns on a dime at the end of this conversation mm-hmm. when she knows how stubborn he is. It goes from his laughy, laughing at each other to very serious, like an next couple just berating each other uh, in the mm-hmm. next minute. But we'll get to that next week. Uh, also, lastly, here before we get to knob comparisons, uh, apparently, according to IMDb trivia, they're drinking non-alcoholic beer. So, um, of course, you very rarely see actors actually drinking alcohol on on the scene, it's always coloured water or anything like that, and um, here they decide to go for non-alcoholic beer to, uh, to have their discussion. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, over at the, in the novel, uh, all the dialogue we get at the bar, uh, we actually get at the cabin, we don't go and get drinks. Uh, while Alan's on the ladder, he tells her that her plan's insane, she can't do it. Claire says she has to try. When these animals are gone, that's it. There's there's no more. Uh, and then Owen gets a bottle of water um, and says, you can't make this better. Uh, you have to live with it. So he's, he's resigned to the fact that, yep, the dinosaurs are going to die uh, there in the novel. And uh, we're going to get that in a couple of minutes' time in the mm-hmm. movie. But Dave, that's it for minute 19. Quick one, in and out, uh, cover some stuff in the bar. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back to finish off the bar scene next week. And... Uh, get to uh, the airport, finally. Yeah.